Hello, friends. My name is Alex Karekis, and I want to welcome you to the Finding Lost Civilization series. Today, we're going to be trekking in the Santa Cruz mountain range area, which is situated below San Francisco, going further south down to Monterey Bay in the state of California. Now, the purpose of our journey is to find ancient acorn milling sites. Now, the oak tree which provided acorn is plentiful in this area. An acorn at one time for the people in this area was a primary food source. So to locate these areas, I use two specific characteristics. Now the first being water. Water is not only a source of life, but it was also required to process acorn. Now the second characteristic that I look for is the availability of stone above ground level. Now acorn was milled into a flower and therefore it required a hard surface such as stone or rock. And so what the ancients did is they constructed mortars within these stones to process the acorn. And so I know today's journey is going to be exciting, and I invite you to come trek with me as we search for ancient milling sites in the Santa Cruz mountain area. We've arrived here to a milling station known as the Alpine Pond Milling Station. Now, I had mentioned that we needed water as a source and rocks to find these milling stations. So directly in front of us, you can see a high elevation. Well, that's a berm that the ranchers built here in 1950. But behind that berm is a place called Alpine Pond. Actually, it's a natural spring. And the water used to flow from up there behind this rock and down this gully or stream area. Now you can hardly see anything because there's been several trees that have fallen down, but that is definitely a stream creek bed that originates from a pond directly behind us over here. One of the things that we look for when we try to find these ancient milling stations is water. So we have water up there, used to flow down right here and we needed stone. Look at this stone here. I had mentioned stone above ground. So look at this right over here. Isn't that fantastic? Look at this. Actually, this is only one milling station. There are a series of milling stations here along this creek and on these boulders. Now the fascinating thing, if you take a look at this milling station, look at the acorns laying on the ground over here. We're under an acorn tree. Look at this. Now, at one time, the acorn was gathered, it was shelled, the hard shell was taken out, it was pounded into a flour here, and made into, a, you know, gruel, even a soup. They can make the equivalent of uh, biscuits. It had a process, or its use was similar to that of flour today. But what I find hard to believe is that the acorn at one time provided substance to approximately 75% of the original California natives but today it's relegated to the ground. People 
don't use, generally speaking, acorn for food anymore today. as we're walking along this path, we're approaching another site that contains an acorn milling station. Now I've mentioned before that the first thing that we look for is a source of water. And as we look up over here, we can see these large trees right there. Now that's the beginning of a spring. That spring runs down right here, okay, right here across this trail and down here. Let's go a little closer so that you can get a better idea of what the stream bed looks like. So there you go, right here directly in front of us. Now the second element that we need is stone, above ground stone. Now what we're going to do is we know now that there's water here, we know that there's stone large boulders here. We're going to search this area around here. We're going to search it to see if we can find an ancient native acorn milling station. Well friends, I'm walking on a game trail that I've noticed uh, adjacent to the stream. So it runs parallel to the stream and so we'll take it and we'll see where it leads us to. This is really interesting. Now this game trail was probably used uh, by animals so they could have uh, access to water. It's becoming fairly wide right now and uh, Oh my goodness, this is really, really beautiful in here. And look at that directly in front of us. Look at that. There's a large boulder right there directly in front of us. And from right here, I can see a series of mortars. Well, this is really wonderful. So anyways, let's go up to it. Uh, we've met our criteria. We found a source of water and we found these uh, boulders, stone, which is above ground. So let's let's walk right to it. I'll tell you, this is really beautiful. Look at this. My goodness. These are fairly large mortars too. Look at this one over here. Look at the size of this over here. And uh, over here, and over here, um, and over here. And look at this. This is the uh, anvil right over here. The anvil. Okay, this is where the acorn was cracked open. Here's another one and another one. Uh, they could also be symbolic, but I don't see many. In other words, sometimes adjacent to mortars, they'll have cupules uh, a little smaller than this surrounding the boulder. And uh, those are symbolic in nature, whereas these that look like cupules were probably used to break open the acorn and then pound it right here. I'll tell you, this is truly an amazing sight. And look at that right there, directly in front of us at ground level is another stone um, surface that has mortars. This is truly a beautiful spot. Well friends, I hope you've enjoyed this trek that we've taken together to locate these two ancient Native American acorn milling stations. Now one of the things I want to mention is that at the time the Europeans first arrived here to the state of California, it's estimated that the native population was approximately 300,000 people. So you can tell that this area was sparsely populated and it's not that simple to find these acorn milling stations. And so it was a real joy to find them.
Well, friends, I hope you continue to trek with me as we visit ancient sites that time has long forgotten.